First on the news at 6 o'clock, she resigned under a huge cloud of controversy after multiple children died on her watch. The agency that came under so much fire held a large reception for her during work hours. Tonight, employees at the Department of Children and Family Services calling that completely tone deaf. The investigative unit in Chris Nakamoto with more on what this cost you. Michael, the party was held at the Capitol Welcome Center. That's a venue that's used to be rented out for parties and weddings. Instead, DCFS booked it during work hours for the entire agency to party with Marquita Walters. These pictures were obtained by the WBRZ investigative unit after a big reception to honor the embattled and former Department of Children and Family Services secretary. The party complete with cake, cupcakes, a trailer full of folding chairs, and the woman of the hour, Marquita Walters. Cases are tough. They are really hard. They are heartbreaking. Last year, Walters resigned under intense scrutiny. We desperately need to figure out where this toxicity is and how to root it out. After two children died of a fentanyl overdose months apart, her agency had the opportunity to intervene but did nothing. Law enforcement and the coroner's office are still working on this case. At a news conference, she promised changes. But it appears those changes didn't do much good. So we're not going to talk much more about that. Over the New Year holiday, it happened again. It's no longer uncommon occurring. It's very common now to go on scenes uh, where there is drug use and we find children in there. 20 month old Leo Vincent Calero was found unconscious at a home on New Year's Eve after getting a report that the child was not breathing. Police added that Alexis Calero was previously investigated by the Department of Children and Family Services and has even had children removed from her custody in the past. DCFS has been notified of the investigation surrounding that toddler's death. Many of the workers we're talking to at the Department of Children and Family Services say the party that the agency threw for Marquita Walters was tone deaf, considering she resigned after multiple children died under her watch. Those employees say they didn't even feel like going to the party during work hours, but felt obligated to do so after the agency sent out an invitation. This is a copy of that invitation. Join us in celebrating Marquita Garner Walters for her service to the state of Louisiana on her 70th birthday from 1 to 2.30 p.m. The agency also encouraged employees to join virtually. The WBRZ investigative unit obtained a rental agreement for that center. DCFS rented it from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The state says it costs them nothing. But if the public were to rent it, it would cost you $800. Tonight, DCFS says it routinely honors people's service and major life events, such as birthdays and resignations. And agency leadership used their own money for all food and drinks. DCFS said no list exists for the party's guests. The agency said employees were paid to attend the party and did not have to use leave. The agency says state employees are allowed to attend events as part of employee appreciation activities. It's important to note four other employees with decades of service to DCFS left the same week as Walters. The agency did nothing for them. Michael.